and welcome to worship. Today is the 17th Sunday after Pentecost, and today we bring you worship from Northern Hollow Vineyards. Today, Jesus tells a story about coming out and inviting his sons to work in the vineyards. So come join us for the journey. My name is Pastor Penny Bonsell from Finlayson United Methodist Church and Sandstone United Church of Christ. And we are so glad that you were able to be with us today. And now the call to worship found in the United Methodist Church Book of Worship number 465. This was found many years ago on a church wall in Mexico. Give us, Senor, a little sun, a little happiness and some work. Give us a heart to comfort those in pain. Give us the ability to be good, strong, wise, and free, so that we may be as generous with others as we are with ourselves. Finally, Senor, let us all live as your own one family. Amen. Good morning, if you bow your heads for our opening prayer. Oh God, we realize you do not call us to be successful in the marketplace. You call us to be faithful as disciples of Jesus. You do not call us to achievement in work, but to responsible living. You do not call us to make a great fortune, but to labor for your reign. Guide us into greater understanding of your priorities. Amen. to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old, things that we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from, our, from their children. We will tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. In the sight of their ancestors, he worked marvels in the land of Egypt in the fields of Zoan. He divided the sea and let them pass through it and made the water stand like a heap. In the daytime, he led them with a cloud and all night long with a fiery light. He split rocks open in the wilderness and gave them drink abundantly as from the deep. He made streams come out of the rock and caused waters to flow down like rivers. New Testament reading for today is Matthew 21, 23 to 32. When he entered the temple, the chief priests and elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you that authority? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then 
I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they argued with one with another. If we say from heaven, he will just say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if they say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd and all for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we do not know. And he said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man who had two sons, he went to the first and said, son, go to work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second son and said the same thing. And he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believe him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. The word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Today's message is about faith and work of God in us. And we begin today by looking at Psalm 78. It's an instructive psalm. It's a message, a passing on of instruction of God from generation to generation. This psalm recou recounts the story of God's care for Israel and the people's response of not following God and continuing in sinful acts. Many biblical scholars understand the Asaph, which is a heading of this psalm, to be referring to the temple and the temple singers. It's poetry describing the importance to tell and retell these ancient God stories, such as today's reading in Exodus, where again, the Israelites are complaining and blaming Moses and Aaron for all their troubles. Last week they were hungry, this week they're thirsty. So God guides them in this story. He guides the leaders and the elders of the Israelites to go with Moses and Aaron and to have faith. And through their faith in God, there is a breaking of a stone and water flows down like rivers. I invite you to read this passage on, in Exodus. In regards to Psalm 78, there was a movement in the 18th century called Haskalah. It was a Jewish movement to reclaim Jewish culture and tradition in philosophy and theology. It was an intellectual movement. It was a way of thinking and thinking deeply about what it meant to be Jewish and to be part of the chosen people of a beloved God. A way of thinking. We tend to separate our thinking from our doing. It's like we put them in two different boxes of human existence. Followers of God know that believing, which is a way of thinking, is effective when it plays out in how we live in an authentic way of life in God. 
similarly to Deuteronomy, Jesus brings us a scripture in Matthew, chapter 22, 37. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. In essence, love God with the essence of your whole being. And just as important, love your neighbor as yourself. But since we are all prone to acting in ways that are often contrary to our beliefs, living in ways that deny our commitment in faith, we need reminders in life. A psalm, such as Psalm 78, teaches us, and it helps us understand how to come back to that way in faith in God. Like those powerful stories that we hear that guide us. We love those stories because those stories bring us back to a hopeful, living way with God. No matter how many times you've heard it, whether it's told for children or for other adults who may have forgotten it or who have never heard it before. We need a reminder that brings us back to faithful living. And in today's reading in Exodus, do you remember the times water poured out of the rock in the desert? It makes us think as we remember. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 23, Jesus is confronted by the chief priests and the elders of the people. They question Jesus. What authority do you have doing these things? What was it that Jesus was doing that made them so upset? Well, let's back up a few verses and look at verse 15 in chapter 21. The chief priests and scribes saw the amazing things that he did and heard the children, meaning the people crying out of the temples, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna meaning a shout of praise. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. As if the doings, the actions of Jesus that are being questioned in this text, well, these are the actions of making disciples. Jesus was inviting people to a deeper relationship with God and have faith and to love their neighbors as themselves. That sounds like spiritual transformation. So Jesus does what he usually does, and he answers a question with another question. He is inviting the chief priests to think, did the baptism of John come from heaven or was it from human origin? Jesus wants the religious leaders in the temple to think about what they're doing. Are they living an authentic life with God? The priests, they could not answer, for they were more concerned about how they were going to be seen or what other people would think of them. So Jesus does what he does many times, and he tells a parable. He tells this parable to help them understand. He tells a story about a father and his sons. And he begins by saying to the chief priests, what do you think? Today's message is about a labor of love. Jesus tells a parable about a man and his two sons. He invites them both to come 
work in the vineyards. And the vineyards are symbolic for Israel. How are they going to share God's love throughout this area and country? So in this parable, the first son says, I'm not interested, I'm not going to do it. But he eventually changes his mind. And the second son responds with, yes, I will go, sir. But he ends up not going. Then Jesus asks, which son was the honorable son that followed God? And those re in who are listening reply saying, the first son. Jesus concludes after sharing this parable that John came to you, to everybody, to the chief priests in a way of righteousness and you didn't believe in him. Even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe in him. In other translations, we read afterwards, you didn't repent. Repent means turning back to God. But near the end of this reading, the tax collectors and the prostitutes the people who were presumed to be the lowest in morals in society began to follow Jesus and to live a life of morality by finding God through Jesus Christ. So if we say we're going to live out this way of life in Christ and to do God's work, Periodically, we need to stop and we need to think and we need to evaluate what we're doing. Do our actions reflect the Gospels and the teachings of Jesus Christ? Are our actions good for our neighbors? And as we hear in the parable today, no matter what is in your past, it's never too late to start to work for God, for it ends up being a labor of love, which will produce wonderful fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Join us for hymn number 438, Fourth in Thy Name, O Lord. We'll sing verses 1 and 3. Please join me in the prayers for the people. Oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens and the weight of glory. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of our world. Be with those who are sick or suffering. Comfort the families, those who have lost loved ones, 
and those who have lost loved ones from this pandemic and all who are mourning. Be with the local and world leaders. Fill them with your love, grace, and wisdom to seek justice. We give thanks for this wonderful creation we call planet Earth. Help us to be the best stewards we can possibly be. Knowing you are hearing us better than we are speaking, we offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. And the prayer that Christ gives us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. that you could join us for worship today and remember that God's love is a labor of love. God sends you, the Spirit fills you, Christ goes with you and you with Christ always and everywhere. So let us share our Shalom. friends.